Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Swiss. Today's date is April 17, 2024. Let's get started. Looking at the uh, hourly chart of the dollar versus uh, Swiss franc, the uh, price uh, in trading here today has uh, did see a move below this uh, low uh, swing area. This uh, swing area I outlined as a level to get to and through. It was helped defined by a low right here. Uh, we moved below that level, use is resistance right here, and then moved above it here, traded above and below through here, but then reestablished support here, here, here. Uh, and in trading here today, the price, and again, this is the hourly chart, moved below that level. And it opened up the door for further downside selling, but uh, the uh, when the price started to approach the 200-hour moving average, what do we do? We found support buyers against that level. We need to get below it as well to increase the bearish buys. Couldn't do it. And we've seen a rotation back to the upside. The price had been trading above and below that. Uh, level at uh, that swing level at 0.9112 ish type area, uh, but also below the two 100 hour moving average at one point at 0.91216. So, uh, you know, it seems like we have a battle going on between the 100 hour moving average above the 200 hour moving average below. In between is this uh, swing area at uh, 0.9112. You know, whether or not that's still in play or not, I don't know, but uh, I think. I think if the price were to get back above the 100-hour moving average, that would give the buyers more confidence uh, for a more move to the upside. If the price were to move below the 200-hour moving average, you could see a further deterioration uh, or corrective action uh, to the downside. That would take the price back down toward the rising 100-bar moving average on the four-hour chart at 0 0.90659. But overall, you know, if we take a look at this uh, chart going from here to here, the uh, from left to right, the bias is more to the upside. Yes, the Price action to the upside has slowed. We fell below uh, trend lines and, su and such, uh, but uh, the uh, the price isn't really going that far to the downside, is it? Uh, Taking a look at the uh, daily chart for this uh, currency pair, you can see why, and uh, that is uh, uh, the uh, uh, why we're having some resistance up here. Uh, if you go back in time to these areas right through here, this area was a resistance uh, 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 ceiling through here with a number of different uh, swing highs before moving to the downside. We did move above it through here, trade above and below the level, but reestablished resistance here before, again, moving to the downside. We uh, moved back up to that area and trading here the, this week and last week, and I found uh, willing sellers against this area between 0 0.9112 and 0 0.9146, I think, are high prices this week. Came in at 50, so the sellers had, or the buyers had their opportunity to push higher. They couldn't do it. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we are still above the 38.2% retracement of this longer move to the downside suggesting that the buyers are trying to make more play, more play to the upside. Fundamentally, uh, we know that the uh, Swiss National Bank did uh, cut their rates uh, at their last meeting, whereas the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve, uh, as outlined by, from a Fed Chair Powell and Vice Chair Jefferson yesterday, uh, kind of took off the idea that uh, rates would be coming down any anytime soon. It may not even come down in 2024. We will see, but the market is now pricing in a September cut versus uh, one in June or July. So uh, be aware uh, that is also helping uh, or should contribute to a stronger dire dollar, a weaker Swiss franc. But again, the technicals will lead the way. They will show what the market feels. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.